Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Evil Genius 2. I'm also very loud today. Hmm, hope that doesn't cause problems. No time to stand on ceremony. Let's get to our next objective, which we are going from the bottom up. Let's deal with this asshole. I think I'm out of 30 seconds. The Blue Saint has returned for a second round. Change things up by going on the offensive, so that maybe you can put an early end to the threat he poses. The Blue Saint again. Still intent on putting me on a different path? I have made it my cause, and with every punch and high-powered demolition charge, I fight for it! Of my many enemies, you are by far the most arrogant. To think you can change my mind. My swagger made me king of the ring. A habit from an old life that serves me well in this one. And once I blow up all of this, your view will be clear. And you know what you'll see? La luz, my friend. The light. You want to spite the blue saint by stealing the masks of his five closest companions. Los Hermanos del Ring. Look into who they are and then make your move. Okay. So, oh god. Everything's discombobulated. So, here's the thing. Oh god, we're starting in with this already, too. So, as you're watching this, um, there was probably an episode yesterday. <laughs> but, uh, I was not, I did not record chronologically yesterday, or even all of last week, because I had a severe allergic reaction or ocular... Uh, injury of some kind? My eyeballs exploded. Not literally, obviously, but, uh, my eyes were- became so sensitive that I couldn't- I physically could not look at screens. Which, for me, is, uh, you know, not ideal, given that this is my job and everything. So, I have spent the last week, I actually spent two of those days unable to see anything because even ambient light from... What the f Oh, that's my turret. <laughs> even ambient light from, say, the outside on an overcast day was hurting me. It's You know how when you look into the sun accidentally... Your eyes just to have that natural reflex to just close. Well, I was like that all the time for no friggin' reason. And my one eye was really puffy and red and gross. I got a picture. I promise I won't share the picture, but I got a picture of it. Just in case. I actually took the picture just in case I had to call the doctor. Anyway, the point is, I feel better now. But it's arguable whether I should be, you know, recording this soon. Um... We're gonna try, though, and hopefully I can get through this episode and maybe a couple more. The Blue Saint and his cronies are on the way, so it gives us another chance to test our security here in the base. I've already got Polar in position. And it seems the saboteurs were able to get pretty deep, fair enough. Well, we'll get Polar over here as well as all of the henges. And here we go with this. I don't know if we're going to need to activate a red alert. I don't think we will. This seems pretty flippin' handled. Okay, I mean, that sucked, but... The Statue of Liberty is on fire. That seems like a problem. My only winning move is not to play. Oh, because she's attacking Blue Saint. I was like... Yeah, he's going down pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, I will win the next one. aside from a saboteur getting a bomb off, that worked pretty well. You fought well, but I am still breathing. 
I could come back with more bombs and cause more trouble. I detect a but. Pero losing one's mask is the greatest dishonor a luchador could suffer. Give them all back and I will leave. You do know that you are merely giving me time to think of a way to rid the world of you permanently, right? I bet it's going to be anticlimactic. Yes, but you are also giving me time to think of a new way to save you. <laughs> so thank you again, my friend. You suck. Oh good, it's the parasites. The steel program has remained a thorn in your side, but if they insist on trying to honor the memory of the fallen John Steele, then it's time for you to take that memory from them. The steel problem is unusual. Normally, I favor personal revenge, but when there is more than one person... We could just fire up the old doomsday device, boss. We don't even have it working yet, worker. You think I have not considered that? No. This situation requires more finesse. I don't know, just saying. I, I feel like your device could get the point across pretty good. Silence! They work to honor the memory of John Steele. If that is their heart, that is where I'll aim my knife. Hot. <laughs> the first John Steele's heroism kept the world safe an era ago. Send your minions out to tear down everything he helped rebuild. Do we? Okay, good. I was about to say, is are the fires contained? All right, everyone, back over here, and let's go to the world stage. The memory of John Steele beats in many hearts, not one. Another will come for you. Hopefully, it takes less time than that last one took. Cause holy crap, I was sitting here forever. You've neutralized the steel program's threat for the time being. While they take the time to activate the next agent in line, you have the freedom to work. I don't imagine you understood what message you were sending, smearing John's memory like that. Of course I did. If you want a bull to charge you, you wave red in its face. And you did charge. You may think yourself terribly clever, but you've escalated things. First, spitting on a dead man's grave. I've talked about this before, Foxworth. You're the one who spits on his grave. All I had to do was destroy a couple memories, and you came running to me like the good little puppy that you are. See, John, the real John Steele, would have taken that in stride and would have just upped his game. You couldn't even have the decency to come yourself and instead just sent a parasitic recruit who fell just as easily as the others. Which one of us is really dishonoring his memory? And then easily killing his successor while you watched. <laughs> I know, Mrs. Foxworth. I was there. You've only done this well so far because I underestimated you. You won't have that advantage next time. Whatever. All right, next at wait. Uh, oh, okay, two crime lords. Prominent targets the world over. Ah, oh, Fugu Furukawa, how could I forget you? Prominent targets the world over are suddenly falling ill and then dead. And for once, you're not responsible. Investigate this rash of deaths before it affects your plan. Have you seen the report? That meddling journalist Padma Banerjee dead. And authorities are baffled as to how. Sure did, boss. Nice one, finally taking her out. That's the thing. I didn't. She's the eighth target to turn up dead that I didn't touch. Doesn't that still come out as a win for you, though? Not if this assassin decides to target me someday. Get out there. Find out who is killing them and how. Send your minions out to tail a selection of high-profile targets you believe to be in this mysterious assassin's crosshairs. Don't protect them, just gather data on how they die. Sounds like I'm going to be following Agent 47 around also. God, I miss Hitman. I have a new toy for the engineering room, the testing dome. Which... I guess is the great thanks, hold that thought, which I guess is like the next level of research apparatus as well. So I'll make two of those. I I still wonder if four would be a better number, but uh, I mean, this is good enough, I guess. So 
Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. This will be fine. Especially because two groupthink pits have been enough, and two of whatever these are have been enough. Granted, it takes a little while, but thanks to the magic of time skips, <laughs> you I don't see, need to worry I about see. it. New optional. I was expecting a report an hour ago. What is the final word on these assassinations? Boss, it appears the cause of death in all cases was poisoning. But how? We observed them. None of the targets were hit with darts, or gas, or anything suspicious. That's not all, boss. It appears the poison is unique to sea creatures. Ones that live in hammer waters. Hammer? Hmm. Not much, but it is something. Very well. I'll shake that tree and see what falls out of it. I wish that line had also been sort of snow flavored for her. Oh, whatever. All right, lock down hammer regions on the world. St oh, lock them down? <laughs> Don't gotta ask me twice. Also, scientists have made a so I mentioned at the top of the episode, this is partly me trying to test how my eyes are doing. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to deal with Olga. Um, trying to figure out how my eyes are doing. And I gotta tell ya, not feeling 100%, but I will say... Um, I think I'm okay. I'm just going to have to do that thing that none of us ever do that we're recommended to do, which is where I'm going to have to take a break after playing for a little while, which, uh, seems very strange. Ah, shit. Why do I keep doing that? I keep using E and Q to rotate. Is that a, is that a, might be a rim world thing. Anyway. Because you always hear that, that you're supposed to take a 15 to 20 minute break or whatever every so often when you play video games. And none of us ever do it. But, uh, I think I might have to today. Just to make sure the old peepers don't die. Oh god, I said peepers. I'm turning into my mom. Yeah. What the fuck is happening here? Okay, guys, all right. Well, that's just fine. Optional objective complete. <laughs> Task complete. <laughs> I'll probably skip it. I should skip it because there's not really much context, but it's the most evil genius thing ever that a person is tagged to be distracted and wanders into the wrong hallway and something happens and everyone starts shooting at each other. And I'm just left like, what the fuck happened? But, you know, it's fine. We're, we're an evil genius. It's, it's fine. A scheme has succeeded. You have driven off this new rival for now. Keep an eye out as though they will surely return. All I did was go raid Fugu Furukawa's restaurant, I believe. Ooh, yep, she there she is. Out. She cute. I like Never her. have ever succeeded in tracing these deaths back to a humble sushi chef like me. I gather that you are the owner of this restaurant, Fugu Furukawa. The only thing this is doing is making me want another Las Vegas roll from the sushi place in the... Is my volume suddenly way quieter? God damn it. First first episode back is always a trip. Anyway, I want sushi. That's the point. Give me sushi. That Indeed. isn't poison. My restaurant empire lets me put poison in the veins of any VIP in the world. None are safe from me. Well, now that I know who you are, one could argue that you are not safe from me. Do you know who the least safe from me is in this picture? It's, as always, Fugu Furukawa's little plushie on her belt, because I love him. He's very cute. I want a squishable plushie like that for my bed. 
Look at I'll how let happy you they are. for now. But until we meet again, be careful what you eat. Johnny? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying. I was imagining a pillow of your plushies, of your your sucker puffer blowfish, and how huggable they must be. Anyway, a little fight music. Doomhilda is aiming to make a comeback at the Global Sound Song Contest. Then use You're that scientist. capital to destroy you. Something. Beat her at her own game and leave her with nothing to sing about. Ugh, Global Sound. Once my bitterest, uh, second bitterest defeat. Soon the start of my spectacular comeback. What, Akamura? What can we order? Las Vegas roll? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, can it be door dashed? I thought it could be door dashed. Yeah. Save us some fees. Anyway. And your fans are so excited for a great return. But your new rival has also sent a band to compete. Well, I really want some, but let's not do it today. <laughs> yeah. You also have to go to work soon, and that that's not a good experience to eat good sushi. Go ahead and keep talking, Doomhilda. I don't care about you. With the fame my win will grant me, I'll finally have the power to crush them once and for all. Yeah, but... I'm sorry. Doomhilda, but what if they win? Ha! I am a star! The only way they could beat me would be to cheat. And they'd never do that. Sure. Global Sound has the same weakness as any contest. It's judges and their soft hearts. <laughs> Find leverage through scheme, research, and interrogation, and get them to see things your way. Alright, well, okay, well, we just finished a research, so I suppose let's impact analyzer. Okay, so that's gonna give me 70 points if I do the two researches. Hold on a second. Um, so all I need is 30 or so on the world stage, and that should be enough, because I would prefer to do the research projects. I'm just... The world stage right now is just a mess. Oh, steel. Is I mean, the parasites are showing up. The world stage is a mess because with this many areas in play... 10, 20... Let's see if we can avoid that one since Olga's over there. And 30. Perfect. Because we're running so many schemes in so many areas and they're all heat-killing missions... I, it, I'm trying to stay off the world stage as much as I can. It's just kind of messy. Wow, that was fast. Uh, this one's the data bank. Okay. So, everything should be fine. Certainly, we're being very efficient here. And now that I've gotten that engineering project, I'm slowly working on the... Yeah, I'm slowly working on the submarine upgrades because those are permanent passives. And in all RPGs, not that this is an RPG, but in all RPGs, I love permanent passives because it's, you know, once you research it, you don't have to think about it anymore. And I like being able to not think. My brain hurts most of the time anyway. Global sound was supposed to be my amazing comeback. That win was <laughs> I love it when voice actors have fun with their roles. Too bad, Doomhilda. You lost fair and square. Well, you lost square. Whatever that means. I demand a rematch. A true contest of talent. Surely I will prevail. The whoa, boss. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, we're gonna pass. Thanks to this, the boss is sending us on a world tour. The boss. Ugh. It always comes back to them. Very well. It looks like I shall be taking a tour of my own. Ooh, I'm so scared. Defeat Doomhilda in the lair. Oh, good. Well, this is just what I wanted. Well, Doomhilda is here somewhere. I defeated all of her goons, but I'm not entirely sure where she ran off to. So, I guess I'm gonna have to look around for a hot minute. Your only winning move 
is not to pray. Oh, Iris found someone. Hey, Iris, where are you? Uh. Awaiting command. Oh. Uh. Okay. There we go. Everyone down here. Actually, not you, Polar. Wait. Never mind. I need you up here for a different task, but. All right. There we go. She sure did. Another obstruction to your plans has been removed, and you even secured some of their wealth as a bonus. The World Festival. Global sound. And now I can't even get revenge. I'm ruined. <laughs> she definitely had fun with the role. It's all right, Dumilda. You'll make another go of it. You can call in more favors. I burned every connection I had on this. Well, you always have music. No, the music's gone from me. All I have now is my huge fortune from my successful singing career. I'm ruined. Um, okay, the magic brood. Doomhilda has the pot shut up alarm. Doomhilda has the potential to become your organization's latest asset. Put her to work settling an unpaid debt you have with the famed hammer bank, the Rhine. Side story begun. You have a job for the vanquished Doomhilda, but her confidence has been shattered past the point of usefulness. To make use of her talents, you need to build her up again. Oh, that's basically almost verbatim what we had to do with Eli. Alright, well, I guess we'll invite her to the island, even though we just kicked her ass. Um, where is that? Oh, there it is. Hopefully I don't get... We're in Olga over here at the same time. Your scientists have made a breakthrough. So, what shall I do first? Stage a heist? Take hostages? Launch one of your enemies into space? Been there, done that. We have a disagreement with your friends, the Rhine. They want us to pay back a debt. We disagree. Really? You want to waste my incredible talent on debt collection? This was a mistake. I'm leaving. They were your closest partner and investor. Before us. Surely no one can handle them better than you. You do know how to talk to a lady. Flattery will get you everywhere, apparently. Uh, the Rhine is infiltrated. Alright, hold on. Have Doom Hilda perform a floor show? Alright, sure, why not? I just realized I may have never given proper credit for this little setup. Somebody who was in the comments, I apologize, I'd forward it, or screen it, screen cap it, but I don't even remember which episode it was on, suggested doing this little wall setup between my power plants. So, when we got these advanced radio repeaters, that was the first thing that jumped to my mind when the heat got too much. I still contend that I don't need to worry about it for the actual power plants yet. Maybe the next level ones that we just got once we build them. Maybe? But I don't think they're necessary for these right here. Anyway, your Rheingold doesn't appear to be safe. An intruder is in your lair and he has his eye on it. Capture him. Okay. Where? Why is everyone leaving? I guess they were here to distract me and now that they've finished, they're just getting out of here? Weird. All right. Well, we'll keep our eyes open for that thief and capture them. Some of the rewards on the world stage are very strange, like this one, Can I Play With Badness? It's part of the music one, which I do recall we did last time, and I don't remember what the point is. I think this is a quest chain, but on its own, I'm paying nine guards for ten guards. It, it seems very silly, but the description of the quest mission is that it's the first stop of the tour and i do know you go through a few i don't remember if there was an actual ending to the quest though still strange i don't know if i'm gonna bother with it i decided to go through with those missions after all and the downside is i have attracted both olga and agent x here as a result 
We've also got these Ryan Deck Collectors, but these guys are pretty pathetic. They're just walking right into my laser grid, so... Yeah, there goes number two. I guess number three didn't matter. Arrival becomes an asset in your plans. A good result for all. Mostly you. I've settled your debt problem. That had better be good enough because I don't do auditions. Yes, our employer is very happy you sorted that out. And I do mean our employer. <gasps> Are you saying your organization will actually give me a stage? Yes, you've proven the damage you can do when you sing. Just do it at our enemies. Then I guess it's good you've made so many. I love a big audience. Great. All right, well, we're up to continuing the MSQ. Yeah, there he yeah, there he goes. All right. Here's the thing though. Um even though we've got Doom Hilda, so we're capped out on henches. I was gonna do first in, first out, but I liked you bay too much, and I want to keep a slot open just in case a recruitment side story comes up. So, uh, hey, the pyro, could I borrow you for a second? Don't worry, it's for science and won't result in your death. Is that a spin doctor? I need to kill one. No, that's a socialite. Where's hi the pyro? Um. Hey, buddy, stay cool. <laughs> I killed a person. All right. Probably shouldn't have done that just as Atomic Olga showed up, but this is fine. Um. I'm not even going to do the next story mission for a hot second. I want to make sure I've got Olga and X handled. Oh, did X not decide to show up? Oh, X just left. Well, that's good. Oh, this mission never went off. I see. I didn't realize we were in lockdown over there. All right. Well, oh, God, why? All right, well, yeah, sure has. All right, that's going to get them on camera. All right, let's get the henches that we have. I'll even bring in Polar to help, and we're going to just red alert this shit. After the last time Olga invaded, I have learned my lesson that I am not going to... I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna take this for granted. Oh, that's a buff. That's not what I needed. I needed a stun. There we go. Yeah, I need, I need everybody up here. We're not gonna fuck around when it comes to Olga. She hits just hard enough that I need to be worried. And she usually destroys a bunch of my people in the process. Luckily, we trained up a bunch of mercenaries and soldiers before she got here. As long as I just monitor Polar's health, everything else is fine. Rapidly heals. Okay, don't need that. Jubei is fine. Yeah, I think we're good here. Yeah, it's just Olga who's left. Okay. Good deal. Alright, I mean, that definitely could have been worse. But we took care of the problem. Okay, then. Uh, let's see what these upgrade things are because I don't know what these are yet since I haven't gotten this far. All right. Um, okay, I have to complete one of the or the other. One, I get max smarts and morale increase. Profound as your ingenuity runs, you could always be sharper. Give your cybernetics an upgrade so you can inspire your allies and outfox your enemies or... Oh, we're upgrading ourselves. I thought we were upgrading our... Um, 
I thought we were upgrading the the uh, the super weapon. Your last few fights could have gone better. This is what you have minions for, but sometimes the genius has to wait in personally. Give your cybernetics an upgrade so you'll be a more serious threat in the next fight. You can only choose one upgrade, the other will be discarded. Choose wisely. So we either get health and damage, or, well, health and armor, or smarts and morale. I would rather take the health and armor, especially because I am using her on the front lines, which I maybe shouldn't be doing, but I don't care. So, it's working out for me. Um, yeah, let's do it. Side story begun. Go to your desk and apply a cybernetic improvement to your health and damage resistance. Make yourself a harder target for those meddling do-gooders. Alright. We have work to do. We sure do, Polar. That seems pretty simple. Uh -huh. So, have at it. Your enemies will think twice about crossing you now that your cybernetics have been upgraded. Alright, well, no more side stories. Time to do the main objective. Do watch what you're doing. You have no idea how sensitive that equipment is. No idea? I built it, mate. I've got grease and steel under my fingernails. You've just got chalk dust. We about to see a nerd fight. You turn a screw here and there, but come now. Where would you engineers be without the guidance of science? I'll tell you where you'd be without us. Right here, not knowing a wrench from a spanner. Now, out of my way. This is going to be a nerd fight. Who wants to make popcorn? Wait, th there's a difference? Come back, science needs to know. Wow, I think the nerd fight is over. You don't have time to deal with the squabbles of your help. The Trap earth is melting. Intricate. Pick a scientist or an engineer to execute them. <laughs> I should put an end to this. Okay. Uh, sure. Um, but I think we're at 30 minutes, so I'm gonna do that next time, because we're out of time, I think. Oh, look at this. Yeah, my, my anti-Jaws setup here is working perfectly. And if Jaws can't get through, Symmetry can't either, so we are in good shape. Alright, so we're going to execute somebody in the next episode, and then continue doing what we're doing and take over the world. Make it a colder place, or whatever. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. Oh god, this took two hours to record. Uh, yeah, I need to rest my eyes. <laughs>